Hello, this is Sarah Meehan with Concentris bringing you a short and sweet tip regarding inventory reallocation. So the scenario here is you have more demand, more orders than you have inventory in stock, and you want to be able to pick and choose which orders get the inventory so that you can prioritize your shipments without having to navigate into each individual transaction. So the way to do that is if you go to transactions, inventory, reallocate items, I'm in administrator role right now in a demo environment. So you might have a slightly different navigation, but that is the screen that you're looking for. It's called reallocate items. And once this loads, you'll see it's a very simple interface. You select the item that you are looking for and the location that you are looking to reallocate inventory within. So you can only do this within a single location at a time. So it's going to break down the demand and the current activity. So right now you would have 705 on hand, 705 committed. We need 3,350 and we have none picked. Uh, just a heads up, the picked quantity, if you have a pick pack ship process, if you picked inventory but not yet fulfilled it, it will count as quantity committed. So the quantity committed would be the sum of the values here plus the quantity picked. So I'll point out very quickly um, the special order column. So these are items that are special order and or transactions that are designated as special order. And in the case of the ones with checkboxes, those are have already had a special order PO issued. So these are not ones that I can check. So I can't reallocate inventory here. And you'll also notice that there are a few that are grayed out special order, but do not have the checkbox checked. Those are just saying that the they are special order items, so I can't allocate inventory, but the special order has not yet been placed. And if you need more information on special orders, um, Sweet Answers has a lot of great information on that. But the ones that have check, mock, check boxes next to them, I am able to move inventory around. So you can see here right now, the 239 that I have are all going to this transaction here. The reason it's saying 705 is because it's summing up what I have committed to these special orders as well, since I have uh, orders in the system. So I have 239 available. I can pick and choose which transactions those 239 go to. So let's say I want to do a partial commitment of 100, 100, and 39 up here. You'll notice when I check the box, each time it will automatically allocate whatever is remaining toward the total. So if you have 20 orders and you have enough to fulfill 19 of those, it will just go down the list and allocate them based on you checking the box in the sort order. So right now it's sorted in uh, reverse chronological order, hitting the auto commit would just commit it from the top down using that logic. So at this point, I just hit submit. And once this loads, that will perform my inventory commitment. And I'm going to jump back over to one of those transactions. So this one here. And verify that the commitment took as expected. So scrolling down here, I can see that I've allocated 100 and 100 to these two lines. See the commitment here, 100, 100. And those lines, this is a special order transaction, and here's my 39 as well. So that all three went to this transaction in the quantities that I specified. So hopefully you found this helpful. It makes quick work of distributing inventory across multiple transactions. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.